firstly, Lester Quinones hasn't quite had the opportunity over the first two games. Let's let's rewind for a little bit back to Summer League. <clears throat> this guy was probably the most impressive aspect and element out of Summer League for the Warriors. Go back before that, he was the G League's most improved player last season. This is a guy that, you know, when he was signed to a two-way contract for the Warriors, everyone was really up and about because we thought, oh, maybe there's a chance he gets a, a guaranteed roster spot with another team, or, or at least, you know, Golden State are forced into giving him a guaranteed roster spot because there is interest from, from other teams. But since then, really, like I'm sure he'll agree, really disappointing World Cup campaign. Um, with the Dominican Republic, and then not much opportunity in the first two preseason games here. So he's kind of gone from a guy that, hey, could this guy you know play a role for the Warriors this season to a, a kind of afterthought, I suppose, particularly with how well Pajemski's played over the first two games. But this was clearly his best performance since that summer league. And I think he should have had more opportunity. I think he should have played, one, he should have played more, and two, he should have had been a little bit more on ball, in my in my opinion. So 18 points, four rebounds, four or six, six or 12 shooting. He should have played more, particularly in the first half and probably in the third quarter. One of the most frustrating elements that Golden State fans will take out of this game was the fact that Jerome Robinson played as much as he did. With Pajemski in the starting lineup, CP, Steph out, he was kind of the first ball handling guard, I suppose, off the bench, if you want to call it that. Although even in those lineups that he was in, I would argue that, you know, it was you know, it was Kaminga who was almost the point guard or, or you know, the the offense was really run across a multitude of players rather than, you know, one person bringing the ball up on on every single occasion. But I suppose he you, you would say he was the first guard off the bench. Uh, how many minutes did he play? He had, so he had, Jerome Robinson, this is, he had six points and five rebounds on two of 11 shooting. How many minutes did he play? He played 21 minutes. So he was the first player off the bench for Golden State. Now, Jerome Robinson, 25-year-old, I think, former lottery pick of the Clippers, on a two-way contract now with the Warriors. Frustrating. Really frustrating the fact that early on, he played more than Lester Quinones. Because all the... If if you're going to have to have a, a ball-handling kind of combo guard coming off the bench with you know Steph and CP out, I just think it should have been Quinones. He has done more recently... Now, Kerr will point to the fact that Robinson's a little bit more experienced, uh, probably a little bit more trustworthy. I don't give a shit. Excuse the language. I don't give a – it's a preseason game. Now, again, reg, regular season game, <laughs> regular season game, first of all, if, you, if you're relying on Quinones or Jerome Robinson as your first kind of combo guard off the bench, you're in trouble, right? You're probably going to lose the game anyway because Steph and CP are probably both out. But I can understand that if that were the case in a regular season game, maybe Steve likes the the trusting nature that Robinson might give you. But it's a preseason game. And to me, the upside of Quinones is worth giving the opportunity to and seeing what he can do. And eventually that came in the second half. And eventually he got more opportunity on the ball because when Quinones was out there, again, most of the time, they were obviously late in the game. They both played together. But Kinonez's early minutes came with Pajemski off the floor. And in that situation, I would have just let Kinonez have a little bit more on-ball opportunity, a little bit more pick-and-roll action. Because I do think, one, he's a shot maker. And two, there's some playmaking elements to him. And there's some ball handling elements to him. I'm just, I was disappointed that it was left so late <laughs> because if he'd played more and got a little bit more on ball chances in the first half, this could have been like a 20 to 25 point game for Lester Quinones. And then we're really talking about it as a big game rather than an 18, four and four, which is still, it was really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the eye catching performance that's necessarily going to tell Steve, oh, this guy needs to play more in the last three games. And with Steve, Steph and CP coming back in those last three games. I think Steve's already said in the post match that the last uh, the last three games are going to be real ramp ups for the regular season. Close to thirty minutes for the starters, uh, more of the kind of rotation and different combination of units that we're going to see 
um, coming into the regular season. So with that in mind, you're probably not going to see Lester Quinones again until the fourth quarter, you know, or garbage time games of these remaining three preseason um, matchups. You're not going to, you're probably not going to see him again, which is disappointing because it's, he's coming off an 18, four and four. And I just, I think it would have been a lot better to see him with the opportunity that Robinson got in the first half. And even in the third quarter, just that, that should have been pigeonholed to Quinones. Quinones played, um, was it 24 minutes? I think. Uh, yeah, 24 minutes. So he, he ended up playing more than Robinson, but I would have preferred, I would have preferred Quinones play 30 and Robinson play 12. Like I just, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing and, and very frustrating, very frustrating. Cause I think Quinones has got something about him, but I think he needs some consistent opportunity. He's not going to get that obviously in the regular season, but he should be getting that now in preseason. 